show is gonna be actually the most embarrassing, um, never ending five year beef, um, ever on YouTube is Solumnati vs DDG. Never ending five year beef. Roll the compilation. Boom, garbage. The Italian has come. You can put two guilty emojis. Type that shit in on Spotify, the DDG is gonna pop up. I'm gonna DM her right now. Tell him how to calm down. Man, you sweating on your arms soaked right now. I know your heart beating out your chest. down the line they turned from respecting each other to becoming ops what exactly happened well believe it or not it started with so illuminati many think the beef started when so randomly said he wanted to smash ddg's girl at the time which was kennedy and the rest is history kennedy i want to let you know i'll give up my rap career for you you one of those but it actually started when Solomonati reacted to flight's ex-girlfriend diamond nicole and basically he said she looks like a different gender she looked like a man you know what I'm saying? I'm stuck. I'm gonna lie. So cut, so cut her ass, bro. He violated her. He violated DDG cousin, bro. Diamond, bro. He violated her. She, she, <coughs> he said mad crazy shit. Talking about she look like a man and all that. <laughs> she look more manly than me. I apologize for calling her a transgender because... No, I don't. Why would I sit here and lie to y'all like that? What does this have to do with DDG or anything, you're probably asking? Well, Diamond DDG's Nicole was not cousin. just Flight's ex, she is also DDG's cousin. Yeah, this is how the beef started. DDG and So didn't have any problems before that moment, and you know Soluminati is going to speak his thoughts whether he's right or wrong. In this case, he was extremely wrong. I can't find the video, but So also said that she was built like a lanky my player in NBA 2K to add to insult. Mind you, this stray came out of nowhere from his stream. 
Nobody hated no one at that point. Diamond Nicole reacted to it, and this obviously got the attention from her cousin, DDG. DDG then wanted to quote unquote settle the differences and have Solo Munati fly out to LA to do a three point contest between the two. Now, let's be honest, that kind of sounds sketchy. Yeah, yeah, cause why, yeah, cause why would you like play with somebody, like play ball with somebody after somebody violates your cousin, bro? Like, like come on now, like, why, why, like, DDG wanted Solo to fly to where DDG lives to do a three-point contest right after Solo Munati called his cousin another gender. That kind of sounds like a setup. If yeah, you sound like you trying to line him low key, bro. You trying to line him low key. Being honest. Maybe DDG's intention was to actually play a three-point contest, but so wasn't having it. After I said that all on live, two hours later, DDG said, "Let's meet up." For 1v1. No, not the 1v1, a three-point con. It was, bro. Now I'm not trying to say the nigga was trying to set me up. I'm not trying to say that. But you finally respond and want to meet up two hours after I just roasted the fuck out of your cousin. How would he look collabing with me after I just said his cousin looked like a transgender? You get what I'm saying? So I'm down there with Ash. So I'm thinking to myself, like, bro, if I meet up with this nigga, but it's something that's telling me. Like my third eye is open. It's something that's telling me it ain't gonna be no basketball going on. The match never happened, and then it went haywire from there. Around, say, 2018, it started as petty shots, as DDG said he didn't like him in a video. So Illuminati being a guy who wasn't known to ignore something like that, especially when it's coming from another famous content creator, responded with this caption on Instagram. The person he tagged was DDG's ex, Kennedy Simone. DDG- I ain't gonna lie, um, Kennedy Simone used to be, um, cute and shit. She used to be- I mean, she used to be bad, bro, but now she's not as bad anymore to me anymore. I ain't gonna lie, she comment comment below if y'all agree. She's not as bad anymore, bro. Um, I'm keeping it real, like I don't find her all that attractive to me no more. On Instagram, but it was to flex on So. From that point, the two would make videos on each other. Starting with So, he quote unquote exposed DDG for being a money hungry and secure person. DDG would later clap back with a response of his own. The two would release a couple more videos on each other after that, but the aftermath is something else. Since So Luminati has a very loyal fan base, this situation gained a lot of haters for DDG. Comments on YouTube, Twitch, saying he broke spiritually. So got a so got a loyal fan base. Whatever. take the points Soluminati said to him, such as being a soulless bot, and now currently doo doo garbage. It's everywhere. The dislike ratios crazy, and all sorts of fun stuff. The situation would die down a bit until DDG released his biggest song to date in 2020, Moonwalking in Calabasas with Blueface. In the song, he sneaked this Soluminati claiming to smash his ex Ash. DDG used some wordplay when he uses Soluminati's nickname So to describe him being mediocre in bed. He even went as far as using Soluminati's patented catchphrase that's tough. Fast forward a couple of years, DDG hasn't stopped talking about Solo Minati, even when he went on a hiatus. DDG's intention was to poke the bear, and poke the bear he did. As of the time of this recording, multiple videos have been dropped by both So and DDG. You know, they might as well be friends at this point, because beefing for five years or half a decade has to be draining. There has to be some type of love or mutual respect in there or something, because there's no way the hate is still this strong to this day. I rarely give How could they hate each other? I don't think they don't even, they haven't even met each other in real life, so how could they hate each other, you know? When they, when niggas have, have even met each other in person. These, but to me, they should have hashed this beef a long time ago. Because this, in all honesty, is leading to nowhere. Maybe three to five years ago, this beef could have ruined DDG's reputation or Saluminati. But right now, all this is doing is leading to nowhere. Whether you want to believe it or not, they are both solidified as legends on YouTube. DDG is no stranger to beefs, as he often thrives in environments like this. Even if he isn't the one to initiate the beef, he wants you to hate on him, because to him, all publicity is good for him, since he can use it for promo for whatever music he wants to release. He did it with Bruce earlier 2023, and so back in 2020 with the Moonwalk in the Calabasas song. Whether you like him or not, DDG is gonna troll his way to the bank, whether it's soulless or not. The only problem for DDG is that when people drag his name, he doesn't have a strong enough fan base to defend him. Plus, so yeah, yeah, he, he his fans is not so monotonous. Like, don't get me wrong, like DDG has, he does have a loyal fan base. But it's not like stronger as Solomonati's. You, you are like, um, 
You feel me? Like he is, he has he has he has his fans and all that. Do you guys fans? But it's not as you know lit as Solomonati's fans. The past few years, it's become such a trend to hate on DDG that no matter what he says right, nobody will listen. Tally fans need to leave death threats on bro. More on that will come. For Solo Minotti, this man will remain influential. All this beef and back and forth between DDG and him is just icing on the cake for his already solidified YouTube career. If there's one thing that you could take away from this beef, this still shows how big of a fan base Illuminati has. He was gone for X amount of months, and he still came back like nothing ever happened. All in all, people said I was glazing with the last video I posted, but after I posted that video, Solo Illuminati immediately came back. Coincidence? Nah. I'm not gonna cap. That boo tucking is crazy. This, 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 nigga, this, this nigga has no gag reflex when it comes to soap. My goodness gracious. You're welcome. Still brought him back. So take that, nigga. Storm Mad Franks. Storm Mad Franks. Damn. But hey, at least this side of YouTube is fun again. As a viewer, try not to take this stuff too seriously. Remember, this is on the internet. It's not worth being parasocial on both sides, since you basically gain nothing from it. People are actually leaking addresses and stuff online. Like, come on, man, what are y'all doing? Both So and DDG value different things, and there's nothing wrong with that. DDG values money and the finer things in life. There's nothing wrong with that. He worked for it, and he can brag about it. So Illuminati values spirituality and seeking the truth behind the government and chicken sandwiches. Again, there's nothing wrong with that. With that being said, this be- Okay, that's the very- um, So yeah, let me, let me know what y'all think about this situation, bro. Like, are y'all on So Illuminati side, or y'all on D- or on DDG sir. Let me know. Team so or D team DDG. Let me know. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all know the vibes. So we're just checking out you are.